we have to admit that Ideogram is pretty amazing, and we can create some pretty cool stuff. Now we can even create book covers as you can see just here. Now every single book cover that you see just here, I've actually put together as a little freebie, and it's called 100 Storybook Cover Prompts. Now, there's going to be a link down in the description so you can get access to this. And again, this is completely free. All you have to do is put in zero just here. Now, with this, you're going to get 100 ideogram prompts for kids' storybook covers. Use these prompts as templates, which means you want to add your own titles to these prompts. You can change elements, colors, all that good stuff to fit your own stories and then you'll get some new and unique book covers. Now, as it states just here, I also show how to do this. Now, what will you get? You're going to get a Google Doc with 100 prompts for Ideogram. So, if you do want to check this out, there's going to be a link down in the description. Let me now show you some of the designs, these book covers, that the prompts created. So, this is the first one, the peach who didn't want to be picked. We have another one which I really like, and it says the koala who didn't like naps. The giggle planet, I thought this turned out pretty good as well. The shy little doorknob. The tractor that danced. This is one of my favourites. I actually have quite a few favourites because they all turned out really, really good. The sleepy sloths race to bedtime. This looks really nice as well. Now, obviously, there are going to be mistakes on these because I didn't do much quality control because this is mainly all about the prompts. I'm not actually going to sell these or sell these stories with the book covers, so I didn't actually have much quality control. This was just examples to show you what they made. Now, if we come here, we have the squirrel who collected colours. The pyjama train. Now, look at this. I really love the colour scheme of this. I really love the font style as well, as it's clouds and just looks really good. The ticklish taxi. I really liked this one as well. The cat who chased the moon. Another really great one. Now, one thing I do quickly want to note as well. The way I created these was with my own personal generators, which are going to be coming out very soon. Now, the first one is this one just here, and this is my bedtime story generator. Now, this is for kids ages 3 to 5. So, what I do is create the story first, then I take the story over to my second generator, which is a book cover prompt generator, and it creates structured book cover prompts from your own personal stories. So, it makes your book covers even more unique. Now, if we come over to here really quick, this is where the generators are going to be. Now, the first generator, which creates stories, is going to be released this Friday the 7th. Then the following Friday after that is when my second GPT, the book cover prompt generator, is going to be available as well. Now, I am also trying to work on a third one where we can literally take our stories, plug that into the cover generator, create a prompt for ideogram, then takes that prompt and the story, combine them together in a different GPT, and then we should be able to get consistent and consistent styles and hopefully characters throughout your book. So this is something that I'm playing around with at the minute. It is quite hard to do because it is quite hard to have consistency here in Ideogram. But let me just show you this example. So this was the story I created, The Fox Who Collected Smiles. I then created the book cover by putting my story into the generator. And then this is what I created. And then the third one, which I'm playing around with, trying to work, it's mainly just in ChatGPT at the minute, but then I am going to try and turn it into a GPT as well. But as you can see, I've then got some consistency with the interior as well. So this is the fox who collected smiles. And the first page would be, Finn was the happiest animal in the forest. He loved to run through meadows, chase butterflies, and then obviously there would have been more. But nonetheless, I just wanted to show you this really quickly because it looks like it is going to be possible to create consistency throughout the book. 
but I am going to have more information about this over the next couple of weeks. So if this is something that you're interested in, then just keep an eye out or an ear out for my videos over the next few weeks. But nonetheless, let's carry on with this. This one's the Pufferfish who blew bubbles, and this really looks good as well. The Penguin who painted the ice, I really like this idea as well, and the cover turned out really, really nice. The Skunk, who smelled like flowers, the apple who wanted to shine, the snoring submarine, the popcorn pirates. So I absolutely loved this concept as well. I thought this was an amazing idea. Then the Tolkien teapot. Then I also have just a couple more to show you. I'm not going to show you the whole hundred. Again, if you do want to check out this little freebie, it's going to be down in the description. But this one as well, the glow in the dark giraffe. Really, really liked that idea. Ellie and the Magical Silly Shoes. Then we have the Curious Crayon as well. The Octopus who played Hide and Seek. I really liked this. I really loved the style of the cover as well. We can see there's a little bit of an issue just there. But then we also have the Brave Little Soap Bubble. The Picky Pair of Shoes. The Sneezy Moon. The Snail Who Wanted to Go Fast. The Sleepy Pillow. And I believe there's only two more and that is Benny the Blanket Bear, and also the snail who wanted to race. Now, as you can see, the prompts have created some really, really nice designs. So again, if you do want to come and check this out, it is completely free, and there's going to be a link for this down in the description below. So, if you found this video helpful at all, then don't forget to give me a like, as it really helps out the channel, and if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.